And put together all by yourself. You don't need oh, extra help. Oh. Other guys come with two or three guys too, you know, because they yeah, struggle. They run cause confusion. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. True. Well, at least now you know exactly where you put everything, so yeah. it's easier to put it together. So you said this engine was never opened? Yes, never opened. Sure. I thought by this time they would have changed the, the timing chain at least. So now with everything new, it should be able to operate better. Mainly, they know, uh, mostly they change it. Uh, it makes noise. Eh? Huh? Most of the time they change it when it, when it makes oh, noise. Oh, they don't change it, only if it makes noise. Yeah. Oh, I see. If it becomes too loose. Yeah. Hmm. So where did you learn your trade? Um, home. By yourself? My father. Uh, is oh, your father was a mechanic. mechanic yes. Ah, you lucky so I guy, just, man. I just used to learn from him. Man, you are lucky. <laughs> you are very lucky. So, this year it's my seventeenth year. Seventeenth, wow, you. No wonder you're an expert I'm already. Mm. I suppose you've worked in all cars, eh? No, every car. Yeah? Every car. All cars. All Sure. So where was home? Which place? Huh? Where was home? Which place? Zimbabwe. Oh, you're from Zim? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I had a friend from Zim also. What's that? He was teaching with me in Saudi. Where? Yeah, back in the in Saudi Arabia. Oh, okay. He was from he was teaching at the college in Zim and then he moved, came there. We, just, we were just there a short time, yeah. He's gone to Australia now. Ah. Oh. Ah, what's this Gerald's surname? Gerald. What's the big guy there, Joe, that did relocate there? Yeah. Hmm? What's the big guy that relocated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, ever since uh, your president messed up the country, hey, hey, gosh. And he was too long in power, man. If somebody else could have taken over early, they could have saved the country. I think he, he overdid it, man. He overdid it, he missed. The country was going well, man. Zim was one of the f uh, top countries in, in the world. It was even better than, than the Africa at one stage. Yeah. Economically. Yeah. Hey. Ah, Mugabe threw it away, man. And now, is it any, any improvement now? Sad, and the people are suffering. Yeah, it's bad. It's, it's bad mostly for all. You know, you can't think of yourself and your own ego and think, okay, I'm going to show the white man, but then your whole country is suffering. What's the sense of that? Yeah. Rather, you suffer and let your country prosper, you know? Yeah. yeah. Especially my generation has benefited nothing. No, you're, you, when you guys were there, it's only going down all the way. Only yeah. going down. Yeah. And that's not fair, man. You don't that's think you know, with your own ego and on the show pro prove a point. Mm. Proving a point at the expense of your country, your people. Uh, there was nothing to, improve, to, to, to prove. prove. No, he just wanted to prove that he can do better than the white man. Yeah. That is the whole problem oh, with him. Yeah. I think the racism thing got him so bad. Even here, it's more or less uh, like that. Yeah, but same thing here, yeah. same mm. thing. Same thing here, yeah. you're right. People just want to prove a point at the expense of the country. Mm. It doesn't help. And people are dying while you busy trying to uh, trying to show that you are strong, whatever. I don't know. It doesn't make sense, man. No, that was that was really suicide for the country. Yeah. Where whereas he was rich, Mugabe was rich, and the country was suffering. What's the sense of that? Yeah. I don't see the sense of that, I man. Mean, this guy was one day now. He's rich, huh? Yeah. He's wealthy, rich. That guy. Hey. You and Zuma, they like. Yeah, I know these guys are just. <laughs> they pretend like they don't know nothing, or like they are yeah. they're not okay, but they're making money, they're rich. Eh? But it doesn't make sense, man, for you to be rich and your country suffering. 
Look what the guys are doing here also know. The only last proper president we had was Mandela. Mandela said, no man, yeah. this money is too much for me even. Yeah. I will take half of it and give the rest to the children's yeah. fund, yeah. to job creation that fund. That cannot happen in Zimbabwe. You, you see, that guy was sensible. That and cannot happen. Even here it can't happen. It's those, days, those guys have gone. We don't have uh, another Mandela here now. But it, didn't you sell yourself so also? Huh? Didn't you sell yourself so? Who? Sell your rubber boss on his salary. Didn't you say it's too much? Did he take? Did he give some? I think, I think I did hear the rumor that he said that. I don't know, but I remember Mandela definitely did that. And he encouraged the other MPs to do the same. Yeah. But not many did, but that guy did the right thing. Yeah. He was on the right track. <coughs> now you're doing a good job, man. But just shut.